In this segment with the capables, what we're going to learn to use is the capables plan ahead. Our head in every capable has a secret little pocket right here where you can store things. The things that we're going to teach our children to store in here are their thoughts and their very careful plans for the future. Because where do we keep our plans and our thoughts? They're in our head. Now, many of you have heard uh, that thoughts are things and that what you think is really what comes, what happens, that we actually have a creative process in our brains so that when we imagine and when we dream, if we really believe those and know that they can come true, then we can create our realities. But how do you teach a very young child that thoughts are things? Well, we've made it very simple because we've made it so concrete. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say your child has just had a nightmare, like children sometimes do. They come to you, they're three years old, they're all sad, the boogeyman is going to get them, and you say, just don't think about it. That never works, because they tell you, I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. Now, with the capable, what we can do is we can sit down and we can write all of those bad thoughts. Boogeyman was after me, I was really scared, I couldn't run fast, the boogeyman can run faster than me, anything that they can come up with, you write, and you write each thought on a separate piece of paper. Fold those bad thoughts up, put them into the capable's head. Now, zip the capable's head up and hand it to your child. When you hand the capable to your child, tell them to open the head and now take out the bad thoughts. They reach in and they get all of these pieces of paper that have the bad thoughts on them. Those thoughts, now they're holding onto. Now you make it a game. What would you like to do with the bad thoughts? Do you want to run and throw them in the trash? Would you like to take them and flush them down the toilet? Think of all kinds of ways that you could get rid of these bad thoughts and it turns it into a game. Let's say you run into the restroom and you throw the bad thoughts down the toilet and you flush the toilet. The kids think this is so much fun. Now, what you have to t explain to your child is that nature abhors a vacuum. We need to put something back into the capable's head. What we need to do is we need to put in all of the greatest thoughts that you can even imagine. So you sit down now with the child and you write down all of the great thoughts. I love my grandma. I love my doggy. I love my mommy, daddy. I love my brothers and sisters. Trees are pretty. Whatever they can think of that are all of the great thoughts in the world. And you write down as many as, that they, can, as they can come up with. Fold them up and let them put all of the good thoughts back in the capable's head and then zip it up. Now, when you ask them what is the capable thinking, they will always tell you the same thing. Great thoughts. But when you ask them, and what are you thinking, they suddenly all of just immediately understand that I'm thinking great thoughts too. And they make that connection. Oh my goodness, I do have control of my thoughts. Imagine what we can do for our children if we can teach them at these precious young ages while their neural nets are forming that thoughts are things and that they are the ones in charge of the kind of thoughts that they will have. What a powerful impact that would have on their lives. Well, that's what we've created for you when you use the Capable Learning System.